Let's start this bulletin with our top focus this hour. As post Diwali festivities continue, so does the pollution. Delhiites continue to face the brunt of bursting firecrackers on a Diwali night despite the Supreme Court ban and the little respite to our lungs due to a slight improvement in the AQI courtesy the rain gods has now gone up in the smoke as the AQI has reached the hazardous levels once again. While it recorded its best air quality on Diwali day in eight years, the air quality has now slipped back to the toxic levels. And as air quality worsens, the Delhi Environment Minister has also hinted that the odd-even scheme may make a comeback in the city. आज निर्णय लिया गया था कई लोगों के मन में ये प्रश्न था कि 13 तारीख से 20 तारीख तक ऑड इवन लागू करने का निर्णय लिया था प्रदूषण के स्तर में गिरावट को देखते हुए इसे पोस्टपोन कर दिया गया था आज बैठक में निर्णय लिया गया था कि अगर दिल्ली की हवा क्वालिटी अगर सीबीआर प्लस कैटेगरी में अगर पहुंचती है तो फिर सरकार जो है और डिवेन को लेकर के उसकी समीक्षा करके और फिर निर्णय लेने की तरफ बढ़ेगी अगर सीवियर प्लस कैटेगरी में नहीं पहुंचती है तो फिर जो हमारे लोअर मेजर्स हैं उनको हम ले रहे हैं और उसको और लेते रहेंगे क्योंकि और डिवेन एक इमरजेंसी मेजर है और वो सीवियर प्लस कैटेगरी में पहुंचने के बाद ही उस पर फैसला सरकार Ishika joins us on the broadcast uh, for more information on this. Ishika, pollution is back and looks like even the odd-even scheme in the national capital might make a comeback. At least that's what the Delhi Environment Minister is saying. He said that uh, the odd-even scheme was put on hold given the drop in pollution levels and now that it's made a comeback, probably it's time to bring the old scheme back. Well, certainly, Ashish, you know, as far as the talk about the odd-even scheme goes, we need to remember the fact that it is one of the most ambitious and the most advertised scheme by the Delhi government to curb the vehicular pollution. Thus, even after the court remarks, the government of the day thinks that it is going to bring some kind of impact. And if we talk about, at this moment, the air quality index that has been recorded in the national capital is in very poor category. The air quality index stands at 366 as per the CPCB data. In fact, I'll ask my cameraman to show you around. We are standing near the Akshadham temple and you can see clearly the thick layer of smog that continues to be present in the air, giving you a hazy picture. Thus, the government is saying that, you know, once uh, it drops to the severe plus category, they will have to bring back the odd even rule since they believe it is the only emergency step that is going to bring some kind of temporary relief to the residents here. Now, let me also tell you that Gopal Rai has said that there are various other measures also that are taking place. If we talk about the anti-dust campaign, that has also been extended. And from today itself, the government is also beginning its anti-open burning campaign. The anti-open burning campaign is going to be uh, you know, held from 14th of November, that is today, till one month, that is 14th of December. But certainly the question that continues to remain here in the minds of the residents is that how is it going to be implemented? Because we did see how, you know, there was a complete ban on firecrackers and teams were formed, but we did see how the implementation turned out to be a total failure. Thus, the question remains that will these measures be efficiently implemented so that the residents here could get some kind of respite. Over to you. Right, Ishika. Of course, the focus is on implementation and like you rightly pointed out, a lot of measures being taken by the Delhi government and one of them is the odd-even scheme. Now, remember, the Delhi government had put it on hold after the Supreme Court had called it mere optics. And now, I was just listening to what uh, Gopal Rai was saying and he said that the entire scheme was put on hold because the pollution levels had dropped. So clearly it was not the Supreme Court wrap that had led to the dropping of this particular scheme, but in fact, it was the drop in pollution levels. So again, coming back to the odd even scheme, how much do you think is, is it going to help given the fact that the Supreme Court itself does not really have too much of a belief on how efficient this particular scheme is? Well, 
Ashish, since the time the talks on the odd even scheme began, we did talk to a lot of residents here in the national capital. And many of them, you know, feel that odd even is not going to be much of a helpful measure. Rather, it is going to be more of a difficulty situation for the residents here. Since, you know, most of the people here in the national capital use their private vehicles to go to the office. So certainly, you know, they continue to say that this scheme, when it was uh, implemented earlier as well, it did not, uh, you know, uh, show much of the results. So what is going to change now? That is the questions that the residents are raising here. And again, you know, they also believe that seeing all the measures and how it is being implemented by the government so far, that also raises the question on this scheme. Over to you. Right, Ishika. Of course, a lot of apprehension there when it comes to the odd-even scheme, but the Delhi government seems very keen on implementing it and it probably might uh, do so as well in the next few days. Meanwhile, let's also listen into what else the residents of Delhi have to say with this rise in pollution. Delhi government said that we don't have to do firecrackers, but the firecrackers have been burned a lot in Delhi. Delhi में जहाँ मैं रहता हूँ वहाँ भी मेरे को बहुत देखने को मिला ये तो मैं परेशान होकर रात को सो नहीं पाया फिर सुबह साइकिलिंग करने निकल गया मैं निकलता हूँ फील करने के लिए कि क्या वेदर में चेंज हुआ है या नहीं हुआ है बट हुआ है चेंज अभी घूमने के लिए एग्जाम कर ले तो अभी देख के आ जाते हैं इंडिया गेट नहीं अभी तो कुछ नहीं दिख रहा लेकिन आगे दिख जाए